Welcome back everybody. iOS 18.1 Developer Beta has been out for a little while now and I've had a chance to use some of the new Apple intelligence features that have been released with this beta update. Now, a couple of the favorite things that I like is number one, I like the double tap to activate Siri, which down here you double tap and Siri pops up and you can type in whatever you want to type in or whatever and really really nice feature next another thing that i really really like is we are getting a slightly smarter version of siri on this update here now this isn't the siri 2.0 we might not be getting that for another two three or four months but uh one of the things that i really really like watch this check this out travel time to sedona what's the weather in sedona it's currently cloudy and 86 degrees in Sedona, Arizona. Expect Show me some pizza places in Sedona. Tonight. Temperatures. What's the weather going to be like in Sedona this weekend? The forecast in Sedona, Arizona is calling for both partly cloudy skies. So you see that right there. I really, really like the more you, the more questions you ask, the better and better it gets. This continued conversation with Siri is super, super cool. And the next thing that's really, really awesome is Siri has access to the Apple production and support page. So, for example, how do I reset my iPhone? So, it'll tell you how to do it. And on top of that, you can tap right there and you have access to the iPhone user guide, which is crazy, 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 amazing. All right, now the next thing that is awesome, and these Apple intelligence writing tools, they will work in any app. So not, it'll work in your Google apps, it'll work in your, your Apple apps. As long as there's a place like where the keyboard will pop up and you're doing some writing, it will work. And I'll show you real quick one of the cool things that I like here. So you see what I have? just written up here for this video. Now I'm gonna press and hold, come over here like this, hit that little arrow. Well, let me just select all these like this. Now let me go to the writing tools and check this out. We're gonna, well, you, can, you have these different options, right? Proofread, rewrite, concise, professional, friendly, so on and so forth. So say I wanted this to look professional, I wanna tap that, boom, professional, right? Or if you wanna, just experiment, go ahead and hit revert, and you can come over here and you hit it, and you can do friendly. Maybe you can, all right, here we go, we'll revert that. Or you want it to be more concise. There we go. All right, everybody, well, I think this new Apple intelligence is super, super cool. Uh, we're only in the, we're only in the first uh, developer beta, and this is like the first iteration of, of, apple intelligence that we're seeing publicly you know and in the beta that is all right so it's going to get better and better we should be getting another developer beta update here coming up here in about another week or so um that's we'll see what other um features they throw in with and top apple intelligence but so far apple intelligence is looking extremely amazing it's looking extremely useful uh, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro and above going forward, and what I mean by that is iPhone 15 Pro and when the iPhone 16 series is released, then yeah. So you got to have at least an iPhone 15 Pro. You can't have a regular iPhone 15. So anyway, really, really exciting times. Thank all of you for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.